I was just about to do another video and um, I happened to be wearing uh, this uh, Armida A1 42mm uh, teal uh, green on this um, vintage styled uh, strap and I thought to myself this looks so good and as I've been walking around the house and oh, I went to the shops the other day I was wearing this and I thought uh, you know this is a great watch and I even started thinking the color is so cool because it's this teal green color is it's not a color that you see very often uh, on a wristwatch and for some reason it's contrasting with the strap very well and the orange minute hand I thought looked absolutely the bee's knees and you know I, I catching it in the light here you can see the light playing off the sapphire bezel and uh, the sapphire crystal and of course you've got the, the sunray uh, green dial and I thought this is such a great watch now perhaps the strap is also you know helping it um, uh, look so good and um, I don't know if you noticed there that um, I, I, I have on this strap this um, uh, buckle by I think it's Artem uh, they're based in Australia and it, it's spring-loaded uh, like this so the, the, there's no connector uh, you simply pull it apart and I understand that Richard Mill used this, um, uh, you know, this very type of buckle. So you can see there, I'm pulling it apart, and that the thing flips open. And um, uh, that piece of metal there is a strip of um, probably a stainless steel alloy that has properties that makes it very strong and and stretchy. But as you bend that, it, it then falls into place like that. And then this side you do the same, but you have to sort of catch the uh, the strap in the loop there, and, and that's how um, the the, uh, the deployment buckle you know gathers the strap and pulls it like that. So you've got the uh, the cross section looking like that, and uh, it's a really smart uh, uh, watch actually in this configuration. I, I think it is helped by the strap. It's such a cool. Uh, strap and I think that is a Artem but once again let me see how you undo it it's sort of held together it's spring loaded that way and then you, you're just pulling it and the thing undoes and then you put your finger underneath and then pull it like that and then the uh, the, the, the deployment clasp deploys and uh, it attaches the strap here with uh, the screw pin and here uh, is that a no so you just press the uh, the strap in and that's how you 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 put the watch on and off and uh, when you lay it flat like that it's sort of you know smart enough to do that let's see if I can do that there yeah there you go that is it anyway I thought I'd show you the um, the Armida A1 once again and uh, you know that the, the more that I'm spending time with this watch the more i'm thinking what a super super watch it's so cool and it, it is different um, you could wear a rolex or an omega or one of the other popular brands and uh, if you were out somebody might recognize the brand but i bet you if you were in a uh, wherever you are in the world if you wore um, a watch like this um, or an Amida watch I bet you no one would uh, would know what it is that they, they wouldn't know where it came from or how you got it um, this is a, a very unique design and a, a very very nice wristwatch I think this is absolutely super duper anyway there you go once again the uh, Amida A1 on a brown vintage style uh, strap.